This is a Sunreef 80 power and it is vast. Wait, you see the space on this? It's an 80 foot boat, but of course it's a catamaran and that kind of makes it an 80 foot boat times two really, doesn't it? Because you've got the two hulls and they're so wide that the space on this is absolutely incredible. So I'm going to take you on board and we're going to give you the full tour and explain what this is all about. It's a very nice interior on this one, actually. I'm going to step on here. There is a high low platform for your tender. We're going to loop around this way. Take a stroll up here. We've got the bathing platforms here, of course, on, on both sides. And the first thing that greets us then is this cockpit space. Now, everything on here is just big, big, big. And it's because of that astonishing beam. One thing that's tucked away, which is quite nice in here, is they put the day heads, as you'd often expect to find on a boat of this calibre, but it's outside. It's in here. That's quite a nice idea. You can imagine if you're going swimming, people are having a great time, got the sea bobs out, people want to come in and use the loo, they're not traipsing through the cabin. It's right there. I think that's brilliant. Crew cabin is there. We will come to that. And we're going to head in here and take a look at the interior first of all. What I like about this in particular Apart from the sheer space and the fact that it's so cool, because it's absolutely roasting out here in Cannes at the moment. We're high 20s, nudging 30 tomorrow, so I'm told. Um, so very cool uh, in temperature, but also in appearance. I love this really light colour scheme. It looks fantastic. I think that works so well. Almost gives it a bit of a beach house vibe, doesn't it? Like that. Galley is over here. I'm going to guess that's a TV coming out of there. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it is. Um, big fridge freezers here. This boat's actually in use at the moment, so hence it is pretty well stocked up. Freezer one side and down there and then fridge there. Um, we've also got obviously a load of storage along here. This one is the dishwasher, um, sinks as you can see, and then we've got the cooking over here, so the ceramic hob and the oven and grill and so forth. And then down on this side, just a load of storage really all the way along. If we head on around a bit further, we've got the dining area up on this main deck as well. Also love this little cosy nook over here. That's wonderful. A really nice place to tuck yourself away with a good book or with a good friend. And then we've come over here. We've got the helm position. So that's where you drive the boat from. There's another helm position up on top for the flybridge as well. We've got bow thrusters from beneath here. Off the engine controls. Um, a lot of the electronics are tucked away underneath here. And there are blinds that come over all these windows. That's what these little chaps here are for. And the usual multifunction displays and ship systems and all that kind of stuff is all displayed there. Again, this lovely light finish on here looks great. And there's a doorway here as well. You can come straight through and straight out. So that makes it a really nice boat to move around, but also plenty of ventilation through here if you're not doing the air conditioning as we are today. I'm going to take you down this side first of all. It's a four cabin layout. You've got two guest cabins down here. Now what you often find in a catamaran is you come into the cabins and the holes are quite narrow and the cabins are therefore quite, quite slim. But not on this one, look at this. It's such a big boat and these holes are so big that when you come down here it's proper full size cabins. Really nice. These are en suite as you would expect. So we've got, obviously this closes off here like so. And then the toilet is there, the sink and a massive rainfall shower just there and you've also got a little dressing table you've got a load of storage all the way along here and you might be wondering where the hanging lockers are well if we look in here there we go it's like a little walk-in wardrobe really isn't it very nice so that's one of the cabins that obviously closes off here as you would expect you've got a similar deal here where this one closes off and if we go into here, again, very similar sort of thing, dressing table, a load of storage along here. Wardrobes are in behind here on this one. So they're tucked away like that. And then the ensuite again is up here. Separate shower stall as you'd open about this caliber, and then the loo and the sink, like so. So those are the two um, cabins in this hull. Let's take a wander across the boat because there are two more in the other hull. So we can back out through here, back up these steps. Let me show you in here actually, this is quite interesting. 
that's a massive, massive storage void and also um, a lot of the electrics and mechanical systems all access from in there. And what we can do now is come right up here across this palatial saloon and then we're down into the other hole. Now the owner's cabin is down here and it's big but I'm going to show you this one first. So another guest cabin. Again, you've got the bed across ways, loads of room around it. And again, the ensuite, similar to what we saw in the other side, with a separate shower stall there. I love these door handles, actually. Look at these. Oh, I guess we'll pick this up. Nice. These are all bits of storage about the place like this. And again, we haven't looked at any of these yet, have we? Let's have a quick look in here. Can't find a way to open that. There we go. They just open like so. And if we come on back from here, then this is the owner's cabin. So biggest one in the boat. <laughs> That's huge. Look at that. So you've got a little settee in here. Again, a ton of storage all along here. Nice big bed and loads of wardrobe space. Look at all this here. Just fantastic. It is proper home from home stuff, isn't it? And then this one has its ensuite, of course, in through here. Similar to the other ones, but again, bigger. So what you have with this is this area as you come in, there's more storage tucked away behind here. But then, I was going to say shower, but that's the toilet. Let's try again. Yeah, shower's on this side. There we go, rainfall shower. Lovely. Okay, that is the accommodation. There's an absolute ton of deck space to show you. So we'll come out of here. Look at great big windows, and this is an opening section here. That's fantastic. Come right on through. This is the climate control. Now if you come up this one, we're back into this vast area here. Let's come right to the front and take a look back. <laughs> That's amazing, isn't it? Okay, let's stroll on back, take a look around the outside and we will, um, yeah, we'll show you that. So I think what we'll do now, as we're in this part of the boat, is I'm going to show you the crew quarters, and then we've covered off all of the cabins without me forgetting anything. They're in here. So very nice access down to them just here. And what you've got here basically is two beds, wardrobe in the centre there. This is in use at the minute, so, you know, it is obviously not looking absolutely pristine. <laughs> He's just wondering if there's going to be anybody in there. Uh, you've got toilet in there, shower and so forth. But it's quite a spacious area, actually, for an 80-foot boat. It's brilliant. You need to remember that on this because you start thinking you're on something much bigger. But yeah, that's pretty spectacular. That one there is yeah, a big hanging locker. Perfect. Okay, let's press on. We'll have a look around the outside. We'll have a look at the flybridge and we'll take a look at the engines. So, close that one back over. And I think we'll loop around this way. Lovely big area here. We can lie out, just gaze over the stern of the boat. And if you come around here, side access door, as you can see on the side. So if you're against a dock, that's an easy way on and off. Look at these side decks. They're so wide. You can walk up here three abreast. It's just huge. I know it's a catamaran, you expect it, but when you come on it, it's just such a wow factor. Okay, let's come right up here. Another fantastic cockpit area up here in the bow. Really good. And then right up here, you've got the sun pads across, but you can see there's a lift up section. You can do that with all of these. So you can have those lifted up and lie here looking out the front. Again, when you're underway cruising down the coast or just at anchor and want to take in that view, or indeed in a marina or in a harbour and you're stern to berth and you want to be looking out across the water instead of the quay, that's the place to be, isn't it? Let's come right up to the bow. Look at that. <laughs> that's fast. 
Okay, we'll take a wander down this side. It's actually quite a long walk, just from one side to the other. I think I'm right in saying these are storage areas up here in the bow. And then we'll come right back another park avenue of a side deck. We are at the Cannes Boat Show, or Yachting Festival, do it is, posh name. And it's all going on. It's a busy old show. Okay, we're gonna come around here, take a stroll up these steps. And again, just a massive, massive area. Sunbathing right across the back. You've got a wonderful dining area here. I've got a feeling there's solar panels on here as well. I can't see. <laughs> I'm going to have to look at the film later and have a look. But I suspect there are. Barbecue is over here. In fact, the wet par generally is over here. So this lifts up like so. You've got the, the bin. You've got a ship operating three horns saying it's operating a stern propulsion. There's a sink there. And then underneath here, as you'd expect, you've got things like fridge and storage. Ah, there's the fridge. That other one must be an ice maker. Ah, and now I'll tell you what's on top of here. This is an opening section. So these all tilt. So you can have that for ventilation or, or light, or you can close it off as it is now for maximum shade. And then we've got big seating areas on either side around these tables and then the upper helm. Now as you'd expect this has got repeaters of pretty much everything so your throttles, your joystick, bow thruster, helm itself, multifunction display, VHF, everything is echoed up here and the view from here is pretty darn spectacular. What a massive ship. Fantastic. Look at all the seating across here. I mean, literally, you could fit, what, one, two, three, maybe four, five, six, seven, maybe eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know, nine to twelve people, I would say, across there, depending on how much room they want and how wide a bottom they are. And that's just across the front. Forget the rest of it. What a party machine. This would be brilliant, wouldn't it? OK, let's head on back and we'll finish up with the engines. OK, so there's twin engines on this one, of course, and they are under these areas here. So there's one here and there's another one on this side, which we've got opened up ready. So we can go straight down and show you what these are all about. Here we go. Okay, there are, I'm led to believe, various engine options. And the engine is actually right under my feet here. And, uh, and this one's got a pair of MAN V8 1200 horsepower engines. In fact, I've just realised there's a ladder here. Let's go all the way down. we do like to explore, don't we? Here we go. Engines, V8 Mans. Let's come right back. There we go. So these engines, I say there's two of these, one in each hull, and they're giving the boat 24 knots. It's actually a pretty quick boat. What's amazing, however, is cruising speed is 16, but you can also drop it back and get 3,000 miles of range out of this. So it's a proper transatlantic boat. Very impressive. Generator down here as well. I think there's two of those. I guess the other one's in the other side. And then you've got obviously various hydraulic systems and all that kind of stuff. Steering gear on the back here and so forth. I'm not going to linger in here because I just noticed there's a lot of people coming onto the boat. And we don't really want to leave that hatch open. So let's come back out of here. There we go. Perfect, thank you. But to be honest, uh, oh sorry, yeah, you, you said that. Excellent. Let's 
come right up onto the bow away from everybody else and finish off. <laughs> it's a big walk, isn't it? So there it is. Massive thanks to Sunreef Yachts for that one. I think that's been absolutely fascinating. Huge thanks to you guys as ever. Let me know what you think of this one in the comments and we'll catch you on another one of these real soon. And I'll finish off with a shot of the boats lining up to go out. There you go, there's a bridge just over here that powers out of the way. These guys queue up and away they go. Fantastic. Thanks for watching. Catch you soon. Bye-bye.